Hi there, welcome to this video where we'll be answering various questions about sets. We're going to start from the basics like shading up until we are able to draw our own sets and fill them up and answer any questions that will follow after we draw. The first question we're attempting here is from a past paper in 2021. This question is asking us to describe the shaded part in the Venn diagram below. The procedure that I'll be using here is splitting these sets into a combination of other sets. This combination of sets when put together is going to come back to what has been shaded. For example, in in this question, we can say that we have a set A. If we look at set A, this is A and this is B, and we call this C. If we only shed set A, we can see that it's making part of what we have in our question there. However, the question here requires us to notice that we also have B intersection C. We can also include our E there for the inversor set. If we look carefully, we can see that this part here that we have Is just basically B intersection C. So from that quick noting, we can easily describe this set. It's a combination of set A and B intersection C. You could write it in two ways. The first one is just in the order as we've written. So set A is being put together with the elements of B intersection C. When you combine two sets without removing anything or without comparing them, just writing what is in set A and set B together as one set, the symbol that you're supposed to use is union. Then we have C here. So we've got a set B in the section C and then we've got a set A which are being put together. Hence that shaded region can be described as A union B in the section C. Notice the brackets here are giving us some kind of way in which we should perform this shading if we were to go backwards. If we write A union B intersection C without putting any brackets as we have done, what we'll be talking about is something different. So it's important that when we're doing our set notation, we make sure we first identify which two parts our actual question can be split into, then write a complete set notation like we have just done here. Due to that, we can have another way of writing this same answer. You could also write it starting with the B union C, sorry, the B intersection C, and then you say union A. So union here and most of the set notations, union intersection, those are mostly the two that we use, can be written interchangeably. You can put the second part at first, and your your answer will most of the times be the same as long as you're using union and intersection. So these are the two ways you could write the answer for this question. Let's look at another question that talks about shading that goes a bit more in two sets. The next question is uh, another 
one that comes from the same year 2021 this time it's a GC paper that we are using we're asked to describe the shaded region in the diagram below using set notation this question is slightly different from the first one that we did the first one was kind of more simple this one is a bit more involving so watch out how we we'll manipulate our way to getting to the answer this question requires you to know how to shade a union b if you look carefully a union b is very much related to what we have in this question here because if we shed a union b it will look something like this this is our a union b now from this a union b we have gotten rid of some parts we don't want the parts that are located in this region here we've gotten rid of these the question that you must answer to get the correct set notation for this question is you knowing how you could represent this green area after thinking a bit you notice that that green area is part of the set c set c shaded in a venn diagram will look like this to give us ideas actually if you can think of how c is going to look like so set c is going to be let's use a green color like that this is going to be set c if we are able to get rid of set c from a union b we'll be able to represent or describe this region here now the question is how do we show that subtraction well in terms of set theory if we want to get rid of a particular set it's kind of you just introducing the complement so if from a union b here we know this is a union b and this is c merely i have that subtraction i can think of it as bring about a c complement here now your question here is how are you going to incorporate the c complement and this a union b so we know we have a union b and because there's a minus there we have our c complement if we put a union that's another way of doing it you just start try on error you put intersection union and try seeing it but what we need to think of here is what intersection and union really means intersection means you're combining what is in the c complement set everything that is outside this green area and then you're going to compare it to see if it is in the same area as where we have this red area upon reflection you notice that the correct sign that we're supposed to use is intersection so this is the answer we're looking for a union b intersection c complement another way that you would think of this problem is you basically using two shading patterns one for a union b and the other for c complement and you would find that a union b intersection c complement actually is the area that will have both the green and the red stripes 
but away from that we'll use that method later this is how you could answer this question here it's not a very difficult question again for this answer you could write c complement intersection a union b just making sure that your brackets are around the a union b in the next question we're being asked to do the same thing you set notation to describe the shaded region in the diagram below this one is even a bit more tricky but given the tricks that i've already shown to you how to analyze them in the past two questions it shouldn't be very difficult to get to the answer for this one whenever you see a very difficult set notation that you need to write the first thing that you need to try out start with the basics which shaded uh, venn diagram can give you ideas to write this one you can see where there is there's this part that is shaded that part looks like it's b intersection c don't focus on everything as time goes on as you practice more you'll be able to to notice the answers to such questions even just by observation we have a b and c and you being able to do that by observation is just simply being able to do what we're doing here with these venn diagrams in your head so if i'm um, to shade this part here as green this is b intersection c i hope you can notice that so from B intersection C, just like we did earlier, we're going to get rid of a certain part. A certain part that we know is present here that we don't want is this part here. This is the part that has been gotten rid of from B intersection C. If you pay attention, this question is very similar to what we had earlier. They've just changed positions notice if we get rid of the set a a is part of this part that we don't want to be in the set for b intersection c so this time around what is going to have the complement is a so right in the answer for this question we're going to start with b intersection c because it's shaded we put our brackets like that and the way this is a then because it's minus the complement is supposed to be on a so we have a complement the next thing is now knowing whether we we'll put union here or intersection our sign here again is intersection as you get more comfortable with sets you notice that whenever we have a minus sign there we have in intersection the complement of the set on the right hand side so you can easily start realizing that when you put minus it just means intersection of the set that's here and you become faster so if i if i if i'm to find this question very quickly just look at the shaded part this shaded part looks like b intersection c and then it looks like from b intersection c we're getting out a immediately i realized we're removing a i know it's intersection a complement union on the other hand means we're putting these things together and mostly we're adding them so this is how you could answer this question again you would write this answer also as a complement intersection b intersection c just making sure that your brackets here are kept around B intersection C. Next question is from paper 1 2022. School exam, school certificate exam. We're asked to shade this time. The easiest way to do such questions is to shade set A, you shade B complement, and you shade C. 
where all the three lines that you use to shade are going to meet or if you're using some colors which, which will rarely be the case that region where you're having them all present is your answer so i'll just draw it quickly here we have set a set b set c for the a i'm going to use green lines these green lines are going to be shaded as you can see so that's set a the next i'm going to shade this set b complement B complement means everything that is not going to be part of B. So of the lines that I'm shading in red, none of them are supposed to pass through set B. And that's how you shade B complement. So these red lines are representing B complement. Then the white lines are going to represent C so these red lines here are representing set C you can see they are slanted like that then in this diagram we're going to look carefully and notice where we have the lines that are red green and white crossing so if you look the region that is the answer is this one here this here is the correct region that we are looking for if you follow the procedure of shading these sets and then looking for where all those three shaded lines that you are using are intersecting you agree with me the correct part is this one here another way is kind of just understanding said notation and then visualizing everything in your mind which is just the same thing as doing this so you should find a way of understanding what i've just explained and you'll be ready to shed any type of said notation that you are given In this question, we're going to be answering another question that asks us to shade. There's a slight difference between the previous question that we're just from attempting and this one. You notice we still have A union B, but the complement now is located outside the brackets, and that changes everything a lot. So the first thing is we need to know what A union B is. How do we shade A union B? For us to be able to know A union B complement, we need to know what A union B looks like. A union B we've used in this video shouldn't be very difficult to remember. It's you simply shading both sets A and B. like that this is a this is b this is c then what we have shaded is a union b now a union b complement means from the universal set get rid of this part that has just been shaded remember we said the complement means you subtracting out eh? so a union b is is going to be everything that's not here so we are going to shade everything that's not shaded so we would a b c i'm going to shade a union b complement in green 
so everything that was in shaded so this here is a union b complement notice the complement is outside these brackets so meaning from the universal set since there's no intersection here if you needed to really be rigid you would say the a union b complement is the same as from the universal set remove a union b so now with this known the only part that we need to take care of is the intersect c a quick way in which you could uh, know what to shade here is just ask yourself from these green shaded lines that we have just done which ones are passing through c you can see that it's only those green lines that are in this region and that's going to be our our answer we just need to shade this part here this is the part of a union b complement that is including the element from c just like that we have found the solution in this question once more we could also use two kinds of lines after we have the a union b complement here in this case we're not going to use a and b because the complement is outside these brackets if the complement was with one of these letters we would shed each set the set for the first letter the set for the second letter which has the complement and the other set and then where those three lines meet is where your answer lies but we need to be careful when the complement is outside the bracket so the first set you need to shed is the one that has the bracket after which then you are going to shed the remaining set so here the remaining set is set c in this question here or in this diagram that we drew for this question if we shed set c let's shade it with red lines like this you can easily see the part where we have both red and green lines is the one that we earlier shaded here so we are very sure our answer is correct so these are the concepts that you need to be able to know when it comes to shading you need to be able to convert set notation to shading or a shaded region into set notation and you'll be able to answer the questions that involve shading